Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 8 programming assignments of the course programming in Java from assignment 1 to assignment 5. So please subscribe my channel as I upload every week assignment with the programming assignments in this course. Okay. Uh, so in the programming assignment 1 we have to create a thread using the thread class. Okay. So we, ha we have to know that uh, we can uh, create thread using the thread class or using the runnable interface. Now this is the problem statement in Java. You can run multiple tasks at the same time using multi-threading. And now what is thread? Everything is written. Now we have to create a class called mythread that extends thread and in its run method print thread is running and in the main method create an object of mythread and the start the thread. Okay. Uh, now we have to cl click the Java. Uh, next here you can see that public void run is there and mythread class extends thread. Now here we have to print uh, this thing that is thread is running okay so under the run method we have to print system dot out dot print ln uh, thread is running okay then this is the end of the run method now here my thread t is equal to new my thread and t dot start is also there okay then just uh, we have to write this now uh, come here now click save as draft then I have to click compile and run now here you can see that compilation is fast public test cases one by one fast okay now thread is running actual output thread is running fast then click submit now here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is fast now coming to programming assignment 2 of week 8 now in this assignment we have to create a thread using runnable interface so I already said that we can create a thread by extending the uh, thread class or by implementing the runnable interface okay so here we have to implement the runnable interface so create a class called my runnable that implements runnable interface then in its run method print runnable thread is running and in the main method create a thread object using my runnable and start the thread okay and this is the sample test case now click java here now here you can see that uh, the class my runnable implements runnable and public void run method is also given now here public static void main that means the main method is there and my runnable uh, object is created. Now thread t is equal to new thread then uh, I pass the my runnable object and then t dot start. So then we have to just uh, print the message that means system dot out dot print. So it is our only task. So I write this then I have to click save as draft then I have to click compile and run. Now here you can see that the compilation is passed, uh, public test cases one by one passed, then click submit. Then here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed. Now coming to programming assignment 3 of week 8. Now in this programming assignment we have to understand the basic thread states in Java. Okay, so for beginners focus on these three simple states that is new, running and terminated. Now in this programming assignment we have to create a class called mythread that extends thread and inside run method we have to print thread is running and in the main method we have to create a my thread object print thread state before start that means before the start method next after start method we have to print thread state after start and wait for thread to finish using join and then print thread state after completion now here i have to click java and here you will see that public class uh, my thread extends thread that means this is the class which extends thread uh, class then uh, inside the this class there is the run method so we have to write system dot out dot print ln then thread is running okay then I have to close the bracket then in the main method you can see that my thread object is created and then before the start method we print thread state before start and after the start method we print thread state after start and then the join method and then interrupted exception that means we uh, implement one try catch uh, block and then system dot out dot print ln thread state after completion then scroll below and click save as draft then i have to click compile and run then here you will see that compilation is passed public test case one by one passed then click submit then here you will see that the private test case used for evaluation status is passed coming to programming assignment 4 of week 8 now in this uh, assignment we have to know the thread priority in java now this is the problem statement that in java each thread has a priority and a number from 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. Now this is the programming assignment. We have to create a mythread class that extends the thread class. Then in the main method create a mythread object set its priority to 8 and start the thread. 
now print the thread's priority after setting okay now here is the sample test case that thread priority is 8 now we have to click java now here you can see the my thread class extends the thread class and the run method is inside this uh, my thread class and this is the main method where my thread object is created and then t dot set priority 8 that means uh, the thread priority is set as 8 now the thread is started now here we have to print system dot out dot print ln thread priority is uh, t dot get priority so by this method get priority we can print the priority of uh, of this thread after setting the priority to 8 now we have to do nothing we have to just click save as draft then i have to click compile and run now here you can see that the compilation is passed one by one passed okay then we have to click submit then here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed now coming to the last programming assignment of week 8 in this programming assignment 5 we have to know the synchronization keywords okay now here everything is written that why synchronization when multiple threads work on the same thing together they may interfere with each other that means for two threads try to update the same number at the same time then the final result may be wrong okay so that's why uh, the synchronization keywords is there so it is like putting a lock now only one thread can work on the shared thing at a time okay that means if one thread is incrementing a number then other thread will be uh, waiting for the uh, first thread to complete his task okay now this is the programming assignment create a class counter with a number count starting from zero and write a method increment to increase the number by one with synchronized keyword now create a thread class called my thread that runs the increment method thousand times that means in the run method we have to write this now in main run two thread increase the number and after both threads finish print the final count now we have to click java here now here you can see that the class counter is uh, this and inside the class counter we initialize the count variable with zero now this is the method which is uh, public uh, synchronized void increment that means this is the synchronized method that means one thread uh, can call this method at a time uh, and uh, do this operation and then this is the thread class which extends the uh, thread class uh, this is the our uh, user defined class and counter c is initialized and uh, here we have to write uh, under the run method a loop uh, if we write for int i is equal to 0 uh, sorry i is equal to 1 then i less than is equal to 1000 and then i plus plus and inside this for loop we have to call the increment method okay now here in the main method you can see that the counter object is created and uh, we created two thread that is my thread t1 and my thread t2 and we started both the threads now this is the try catch block uh, now this is the uh, final count that means system.out.println that means after executing uh, two thread uh, this is the final count then I have to click save as draft then click compile and run now here you can see that compilation is passed public test cases one by one passed then I have to click submit then here you can see that the private test case used for evaluation status is passed so thank you for watching the video we'll see you in the next video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon